Hey Deckers, Minecraft Legends is finally working on Steam Deck. Thanks to the hard work of the community and the fast work from Valve, we now have a Proton hotfix, so you can play this without fiddling around too much. So just make sure that you've got the latest Proton hotfix downloaded. If not, just search for it and make sure it's up to date on your Steam Deck. And you can run Minecraft Legends with no compatibility mode and you will be just fine. Now I'm incredibly impressed with the quality of this game and also the quality of this running on Steam Deck, especially when lots of monsters are around and all hell is breaking loose. It's still holding 60 frames per second quite solid. And even the cutscenes look absolutely brilliant and extremely well polished. Now to hold that 60 frames per second you are going to knock things down to medium in the settings. There isn't a lot in the way of settings. but Running it on high doesn't hold 60, unfortunately. Through the tutorial, it does quite happily, but as soon as you hit the open world, it bounces around between the 50s and 60s, and when there's a lot going on, it even dips into the 40s. So you could run it on high at 40 frames per second if you really want to, but on the Steam Deck screen, I didn't notice a huge amount of difference between medium and high, except dropping this down to the medium settings. Kept it at 60 frames per second all of the time, even with everything going on in battle. Although you will get a minor graphics drop, it's not going to be that noticeable and I'd much rather have that stable 60 frames per second. As far as online goes, I'm not sure whether there is a problem with the servers or the Steam Deck right now, but I was unable to get into a public game by either joining one or by hosting a match and nobody was able to join me. However, there's just nobody playing the multiplayer versus mode right now because everybody's in campaign. But it's also worth pointing out that there is an additional download for Lost Legends, which looks like part of their monthly add-ons, which is a free download. So you can do a survival mode as well as a bit of an extra free of charge if you finish that campaign while you're waiting for that multiplayer to be fixed. There is one other minor issue that I do need to warn you about. If you are linking your Microsoft account, you are better off doing this by running the game in desktop mode. You can do it in game mode, but it is a bit fiddly. The sign in button that comes up for Xbox doesn't allow you to use the controller. So you're going to have to use the touch screen or the mouse shortcut to click into that. And then after signing in, it just seems to hang on this kind of loading screen. And if you completely back out and come back in again, it would have remembered that your account that you signed in as and when you click into it you'll get a new prompt which will say if you're trying to sign into Microsoft Legends and again once clicking continue it will just hang. However if you leave it a few seconds and then just quit out of the game completely when you restart the game it does seem to have your account linked. So it is possible in game mode with a couple of backouts and a game restart, but if you want a much smoother experience, then do that in desktop mode. And the campaign is actually quite engaging. The gameplay is very interesting. You do have to gather resources, but you don't physically gather them yourself as you set things to go and gather for you. So you still have to find stuff in the environment to set people to go and farm for you, but it does take out the tediousness of having to do all the gathering yourself. The battles are a little bit interesting. It is more along the lines of real-time strategy but you have an army that you need to build and follow around with you and give orders constantly as well as being able to actually control your character and attack as well and those achievements that you see unlocking are the xbox achievements as well so that is a bonus as well as the steam achievements also triggering so that's great news that this is well integrated and extremely fun to play i'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here without me talking so you can get a bit of feel for the game and performance Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.